Hi! I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I've uh, been kind of busy with a different project, but I wanted to put something out, so here's a video of me fixing my 3D printer, I guess. So this is a resin bin. Normally it's supposed to hold the resin, which the little plate thing comes down and then you build your resin. I don't know, it's science. But mine has a bunch of holes in it, which causes a lot of leaks, which is not supposed to happen. So the first thing I have to do is clean all this shit off of that plate because it's all hardened to the surface and it was a pain in the ass. This is at like 10 times speed. I spent literally an hour and a half on this. But this would be a perfect time to describe my plan. So here's what I want to do. I want to take some epoxy resin and create a very thin layer on the bottom to fill in all those holes. After that, theoretically, the resin should stay in the bin and stop going all over my 3D printer, but who knows? We'll see. Well, you look at that. It's finally done. That took so long. I had to tear up the electrical tape that was preventing leaks so that I could get all of it, so here I am reapplying that electrical tape. Hopefully, it was actually electrical tape and not some specialty sticker, but whatever. I mean, sometimes you just gotta make do. I bought this thing for 80 bucks, so like, what's the worst that can happen? So I mixed up 72 grams of epoxy resin, hoping it would be enough. I didn't take any measurements ahead of time, I didn't even make something for the resin to sit in, I just hoped it wouldn't leak out after I poured it into the bin. But uh, yeah, it ended up being perfect, I'm just cool like that, you know? Here you can see a wild Colby Jack trying to pour it in so that the camera can actually see the pour for some reason. This hurt my hand. So yeah, I hope you liked a little bit of that behind the scenes. Here's a big brain trick, if you have bubbles in your resin you can actually use a lighter to pop them once they rise to the surface. I've known this pretty much my whole time working with resin but I don't really bother using it when I make the keycaps, I just hope there won't be any bubbles. Plus the keycaps are completely enclosed so it makes it a little bit harder but whatever, I'm still a lazy piece of sh uh, I forgot to record the audio for this so uh, I'll just do it. 2000 years later! So as you can see the resin pour actually turned out pretty good. It created a super thin layer, filled in all the holes, and did pretty much exactly what I wanted it to do. I am shocked to say the least. And I proceeded to spend another two hours trying to level my resin printer with this attachment that I bought for it. It's like a magnet so you can flex it and easily pop the prints off. Well, it turns out it wasn't made for this printer because the little uppy down thing can't go all the way down and home with that thickness on it, so yeah, that was disappointing. 